Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is, um, <laughs> I always forget the day, Sunday, February, uh, 6th. <laughs> I'm trying. Anyways, I wanted to make this video, uh, at the beginning of February. I was planning on putting it out February 1st, but then I ended up having my baby early, you know, <laughs> so that changed things. But anyways, um, so this is like the roundup. I don't know what to call it. I was going to call it roundup. That's like weird. Mm, January roundup. <laughs> I don't know. Um, of all the stuff I did in January. I thought I want to try to do that every end of the month for the previous month this year so that I can keep track of all the things that I crochet and stuff like that. I just thought it would be fun. And then I could go through and show you guys pictures because I'm trying to take pictures of everything I finished um and so far I've done good but it's also only been one month there are fibers flying everywhere I don't know if y'all can see those <laughs> but um yeah so I guess I'll just call it roundup so then in the beginning of March I'll do a February roundup you know and etc the rest of the year but yeah so I got my little notebook here that I've been keeping track of all my makes so far in 2022 and also got my ball bands here so uh yeah let's get into it so I'm just going to start with the first page of my notebook right here <laughs> and um, we'll go over what I made in January. This is what I finished because a couple of these I started in um, December. Actually this one, this doesn't count. But anyways, because <laughs> this is one I did finish in December. I need to put a note on that. So I made um, 19 things in January because I it was 20 but this one I'm just now reading I finished it in December so it doesn't count so I'll just ignore that one but first is my the first thing I finished in 2022 was the easy pullover by Sorella I'll pop up pictures here of it um I should have wore it but it would have clashed with this <laughs> but um I started that the last day of December and I finished it on January 2nd so uh that's what, what three days <laughs> I can't math I actually started that in December and I frogged it uh, it was a debacle <laughs> it ended up turning being huge and you know I was already nine months pregnant at the time so I knew it, if it's big on me then it's gonna be really big on me once the baby comes out and um, so I ended up frogging it and restarting it and I have videos about that uh, if I can find them I'll link them but um, yeah so I did make that I liked it a lot it's a free pattern by Sorella um, I have learned that her patterns are kind of weird the plus sizes um, she maths some weird <laughs> so sometimes when you go up in sizes the sleeves are ridiculously long because on this pattern I had to take off 15 rows of the sleeves or they would have been hanging down to my knees <laughs> and I also made her um, everyday cardigan a couple times and the same thing for that too they were ridiculously long <laughs> so um, you just have to it's a trial and error type thing <laughs> so I did use that one and I used about 970 yards of um, yarn <laughs> on that and I used the uh, Red Heart Super Saver Bright Stripes and uh, yeah so that was my first finished item. Next I'll pop a picture <laughs> is the Rainbow Wall Hanging by Crochet by Carms. This is also a free pattern. I'll link all these patterns down below if you want to check them out. And it I used just Red Heart Super Saver scraps. It's just a bunch of different scrap balls <laughs> um, and a G hook. And I made that in one day. It was a really quick project. I made it super quickly. And the most uh, annoying thing about that, like the most time consuming thing, was the tassel-y parts. <laughs> and that's just because I really don't like making tassel -y things. Um, but yeah, I love it a lot. And um, I made that as a gift to my sister. She she found it on Pinterest and sent it to me and asked me if I could make it. So I made it for her. And because um, she has a craft room. She is a cross-stitcher and a cricket <laughs> she makes all kinds of cricket things so she has a craft room that is uh, kind of themed rainbows <laughs> like everything in it is real rainbowy so I'm assuming it's hanging in there I haven't been to her house since Christmas so <laughs> I don't know if it is hanging in there but that's where I figured she'd hang it so I finished that too so that was awesome and then uh, my next finished object was little strawberry by I don't have it written down <laughs> it's just blank I forgot to write that down I gotta look that up but I'll link it below it is also a free pattern I got it gifted to me as like a um printout thing and uh but I, it's on this person's website too <laughs> and I, I just can't remember who wrote it but I used um just again scrap yarns because it's a little amigurumi and elf hook and I, it took me I, I started on the third and finished it on the fourth according to my notes <laughs> So it just took me a little while to make it too. And I love that pattern. It's super, such a cute pattern. And um, I'll probably make more of those in the future just because they're so cute. <laughs> but yeah, so there we go. 
Next was my Scrappy Ripple blanket, which I love. That's my most favorite blanket I've ever made. I think I even like it more than my Mandala Madness, which I still have. It's living in my closet. I uh, used to keep it on the couch, but I was so afraid of something happening to it that now it's just in the closet. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense either because what's the point of making it and, you, you know, hiding it away? Maybe I'll pull it back out. But, uh, yeah, so my Scrappy Blanket... I used a video tutorial by Bella Coco Crochet, I'll link it below, on how to do the ripple stitch. And so I, because uh, I wanted, I knew I wanted my next scrap blanket to be a ripple one. And then I wanted to use my scrap balls in color order. Like I used, uh, I started with the pinks and reds and uh, used up all my pinks and red scraps. And then I went to blues, greens, and yellows last, I think. I think that's the order of it. <laughs> and uh, I wish I had purple, but apparently I don't ever use purple. <laughs> I just do that more. But I think I'll definitely make another one of those same scrap blankets in the future because it turned out so cool and I love it so much. And I use it all the time. It's on my couch and that's like my blanket. <laughs> I use it all the time when I'm in there. Uh, I started it on the 4th of January and finished it on the 16th. That one was when I was trying to hurry up and get done before the baby came. And I did because uh, I finished it on the 16th and she was born on the 26th. So I had time. I used up as much of my scrap balls as I could on it, but I um, I still have a ton of green ones left because I have like a ton of green scrap balls. <laughs> I don't know why. And uh, I still have a bunch of whites, blacks, browns, and um, multicolor scrap balls and just a few of the other colors. So um, I'm going to recollect a bunch of them and then make another one of those blankets, I think, in the future. Um, I was originally going to give that one to my sister until I ended up liking it so much So because she wants a scrap blanket. So... I will try to maybe give her the next one unless I get attached to it as well. <laughs> but I'll link that video tutorial down below if you want to check out how she did the um, ripple re repeat stitch. <laughs> and uh, I remember I chained 204 plus 3, so 207. And uh, it's pretty wide. It's wider than my wingspan and I'm 5'7". It's about 6 feet maybe. It's a little bit shorter than I would like it, but I ran out of scraps. But I could always add more. So maybe I could collect up some more, maybe purple ones, and add purple to the end of yellow and um make it longer that way but that's a good thing about stuff like that when like granny stitch you can always add to it as long as you don't put a border on it when i don't think ripple blankets look good with borders i think they look good without borders anyways <laughs> my next finished object <laughs> was the cauldron by pixie marie crates this is a paper pattern it comes in her um halloween bundle she put out gosh like 2019 maybe and it's got a lot of cute patterns in it it's got a ghost and a cat candy corn the cauldron Maybe a couple more. I can't remember. <laughs> a pumpkin, I think. Um, I made this as a stitcher library. This is my first stitcher library. And I made it one day. Uh, I remember I was sitting in here watching TV in the bedroom. Because I was still really pregnant at the time. And uh, tired, you know. So I made it on January 8th. And in it, I used uh, scrap yarns as well. I used a uh, Red Heart Superstar scrap gray and some glow worm that I have. And I used an H hook. <clears throat> the next one... That I made. This is technically a paid for pattern because it's in a book. Um, you have to buy the book in order to get it, so it's paid for it. But it's the Sunflower from the Whimsical Stitches book, which I'll link that book down below if you're interested in checking it out. It's got a lot of really cute patterns in it. Um, some of them are beginner friendly, but some of them are not. Like this one. This one <laughs> was kind of pain, but it's got a ton of sewing. So if you do not like sewing amigurumi pieces together, I do not recommend this one at all because it's got 14 leaves, I mean petals, two leaves, and then a couple other pieces that you have to sew together. So this is not a um, beginner friendly pattern if you hate sewing. <laughs> but I used um, a G-hook with that. And I used Red Heart Super Saver Bright Yellow, Coffee, and Medium Time. And uh, let's see, it took me five days to finish that because of all the sewing probably. I started it on the 10th and finished it on the 15th. So there's that one. All right, next I made a scarf. It's called the Sandra Scarf by Cab Crochet. It's a free pattern. I used an H-hook and I used a cake yarn that was gifted to me a while ago that's been in my stash and I wanted to use it up. So it is the Yarn Art Flowers Merino. The color was 532. And let's see here. I started on the 11th and I finished it on the 23rd. And uh, I like that pattern a lot. It's a really pretty pattern and it's really fun to do. It's kind of a mindless pattern because it was, I believe, a four or five row repeat. And uh, you just you know, do the same thing over and over again. I made it mostly while watching TV and uh, sitting around with my feet up because at the time I was still pregnant. So um yeah i liked it a lot it's a really nice pattern and it's free so check it out if you want to and i will link all of it below next finished item <laughs> is the snuggle baby by valerie's cuddly cat crochet her etsy um store <laughs> i'll link that below so it is a paid for pattern oh 
I hear the baby crying, but Devin's in there. <laughs> He'll get her. Um, I used G-Hook and I used Mainstay's Pink Multi, which I love that yarn. And I also used some I Love This Yarn Light Peach, which is one of my favorite uh, skin tone colors for super pale people. Actually, it's not quite as pale as I am. <laughs> it's like a peachy color. It's light peach. But um, I have some of that on hand. Scrap balls left over, so I'm trying to use stuff like that up. I think I have a full skein too. Yeah, I see it. I started it on the 15th and finished it on the 15th. <laughs> and that was my Stitcher Library number two. That one's been in my library for a while. Since Valerie put that pattern out, she gifted it to me like right after that. And I've been wanting to make it <laughs> ever since then. And I just never did it. So I, am, I pulled it out as a Stitcher Library and I got it done. And it was a lot of fun. And I love it. And it's so cute. And I'm going to save it for June when she gets bigger. So, next page. <laughs> All right, my next finished object was the Easy Crochet Phone Stand. I'll pop a picture. It's a free pattern by Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Yes. <laughs> I used G-Hook, and I used the Mainstays Multi Pink. I had three skeins of that, and I was trying to use it all up. So, um, I ended up making, I think, four projects with it. Plus, I made a project with it a year or two ago when I first got that yarn. So, I started that on the 17th and finished it on the 21st. And it took a whole skein of that uh, yarn. And it turned out way bigger than I thought it was going to be because it is also for a tablet. Um, but I do still use it. I use it for my phone when I'm sitting on the couch so that it can hold it up at a good angle so I can watch videos on my phone while, like, dealing with the baby or crocheting or whatever. So, yeah. My next one <laughs> was also with that same yarn. And it's the Poppin' Bonnet by Crazy for Crochet Mama. This is a paper pattern. I did get it for free with a coupon code at some point. Uh, but it is a pay-for pattern, but it's super cute. <laughs> and I made it with the intention of being for June to take Valentine's Day photos in. But she is really small. And right now it's ginormous on her head. So Valentine's Day is in like a week and a half. So I don't know if her head will be big enough for it. <laughs> I will try when Valentine's Day gets here to take some pictures of her in it. But if not, uh, I might just have to donate it to the pregnancy center or something. Uh, and let someone else use it for their baby who has a bigger head. Because <laughs> right now it kind of swallows her head up. But I started that and finished it on the 21st. And it was my Stitcher Library number three. I had had that um, pattern for like four years. It came out in 2018. And I'm pretty sure I got it around then. Uh, so I finally have to make it. And I'm saving that pattern for sure because it's super cute. And it comes in multiple sizes. It goes from newborn, I think, up to like a year or 18 months. So I can make June maybe one for next year, next Valentine's Day. But um, I feel like this one is not going to fit her before Valentine's Day. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright, next I made a newborn diaper cover with that same yarn again. It's Mainstay's Multi Pink. Again, I made it to go with that bonnet, but again, it's also huge, so I don't know. We'll see. I'll put her in it and see how it looks <laughs> for photos. And it is a free pattern by Crochet It Creations. I used the H hook on it. And I started it and finished it on the 23rd. And uh, the only thing I did different to it was I didn't have any buttons that went with it. So I did just make a drawstring to uh, tie it instead of buttons. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because uh, in the pictures that I want to take her, she'll be laying on her belly. So you wouldn't be able to see buttons or drawstring either way. <laughs> All right. Next, finished objects. <laughs> I made two of these. These are Amigurumi spiders that I made uh, by Chicken Pseudo Noop. <laughs> I love that name. And it's a free Ravelry download. And it's such a cute pattern. It says it's a no-sew. But you have to make the legs first. And then knot them into the body of the spider. Before you close it up. But to me that doesn't secure it tight enough. Especially if you're going to give it to a kid. Because uh, they tend to yank on things. So I did sew my legs on there. Just to make them sturdier. But I don't mind sewing stuff on it. I love making amigurumi. So it doesn't bother me. But I used a G-hook. And I used Red Heart Super Saver. Uh stripes retro stripes i had a like a half a skein left over from where i made a hat um so i did make the two spiders and they came out two different colors jesse has claimed the green one and uh i still have the pink one so i seen the green one earlier it wasn't here i don't know <laughs> but the pink one is in i got a big bag over there that i keep finished objects in to keep them clean until i donate them or sell them or whatever so the, the pink one's over there <laughs> the green one i seen it earlier today i can't remember where i seen it at but he's been sleeping with it and playing with it so it's really cute but uh i made both of those on the 23rd while well, again sitting in here because that day i made those two spiders the diaper cover and i finished my um 
send your scarf all on that same day while sitting there watching TV because I was really pregnant and swollen and I was sitting here relaxing and I just crocheted for hours. But I got them done and I liked it a lot. I used 12 millimeter safety eyes and uh, so I used scraps to make their little uh, cheek thingies. And yeah. All right. This is my last one. Nope. I got three more. Okay. So my next finished objects, these are four technically were popsicle cozies and I didn't use a pattern for this uh, it's just something I whipped up I made four for my sister I still have a lot of the cotton yarn set in the living room <laughs> um, that I want to use up to make more for her and also the rest for us uh, so I used a g-hook and I used um, peaches and cream stripey and it's called evening sea is the colorway 100% cotton uh, what I did to make that I made all those on the 24th so it was right before I had the baby <laughs> um, I did a foundationless uh, single crochet. I did 15 of those, and then I did 10 rows of single crochet, like in a circle. I connected it, and then I crocheted it into like a little tube. You can see about the picture. <laughs> um, just big enough for those freezer pops that are liquid, and then you put them in there and they freeze, you know, because we eat a lot of those here. <laughs> Jesse loves those a lot. And then the last two finished objects for January were divine hats. Right? Yes. This is after I had a baby. This is after we came home from the hospital. <laughs> um, so I had her on the 26th and I, I started, I made one of these on the 30th and one on the 31st. <laughs> so I made two divine hats, which is a free pattern by Sarah, Sarah Arnold. And it's a free PDF download from Ravelry. Uh, I made a purple one and a blue one. <laughs> so the purple one, I used a J hook and an H hook. The J hook is for the body of the hat and the H is for the brim. Uh, for the blue one, I used an I hook and H hook because the purple one turned out a little bit bigger than it should. <laughs> so I went down a hook size for the blue one. And for both the yarns are Yarn B Soft and Sleek. Uh, the purple one's called Violet Stripe and the blue one was called Denim Stripe. I got them on clearance, I believe. One of the Hobby Lobby clearances. Was it last year's? I think it might have been 2020. Because I feel like it's been in my stash for a while. <laughs> it was in the shelf in the living room and I'm trying to clear that shelf, shelf up. Uh, slowly one ball at a time <laughs> but yeah so I made the purple one on the 30th and the blue one on the 31st and I did do a different brim because if I had done the brim the way it calls for in the pattern it would have been way too long because I think my gauge was off that day <laughs> but uh so instead of doing I think it was like three rows of front loop back loop or not front loop front post back post double crochet you know to make like a rib looking brim I just did um <clears throat> I did a roll sink crochet around the hat and then I think I did a row of half double crochet and then another row of single crochet. Just like a little brim. Um, just to give it something to finish it off and make it a little bit snugger, you know, on the brim part instead of the hat part. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all the things I made. So I have 20 written down, but uh, the other thing I actually finished in December. That was my ladybug. Good luck charm. So I finished 19 things in January, which I was pretty proud of. <clears throat> and I, I took out eight skeins of yarn from my stash and used them up. So I did use, um, let's see here. Tea leaf. What's this one? Okay, these two were from my sweater that I made. These are jumbo skeins of the Red Heart Stripes, Bright Stripes. These were for the um, easy pullover that I made. <clears throat> this is Red Heart Pumpkin. Just, I used up orange for What did I use it on? I can't even remember now. Did I even use orange? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, maybe the rainbow thing. And I don't know. But it was in my pile for January. This could very well be a December one. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, this one is tea leaf. I did use this. was a floppy skein. I used this on um, the sunflower. It must be. I have it written down as medium time. But it must be this one that I used. It was a floppy almost used game, but I still count it because it had a ball band on it. <laughs> and then this is Mainstays. Um, this is that Valentine's Day looking yarn, the pink multi. So this is the two um, full skeins I used. And I did have, the third skein was already opened, so I didn't have the ball band because I opened it like years ago. <laughs> but uh, so that's for my use those up. And then these are the two yarn bees for the, the two divine hats. I do have scrap balls of these left, like that big, but I put them in my multi-color scrap ball bag 
So um, I still got some, even though I technically didn't use a lot of, I did use a lot, a lot of yarn this month, last month, but most of it was scrap balls. Like my afghan was all scrap balls. Uh, the amigurumis were scrap balls. The cauldron was scrap balls. The sand drift, uh, I didn't use that whole cake up. I still have half a cake of that and on my craft cart that I gotta find something to make with. So that might be a February cake used up. I'll count it as whatever month that I finish that yarn up in. Uh, let's see here. The, the spiders was a scrap ball. See, most of the stuff that I made was scrap balls. The popsicle cozies was a, a full ball, but I haven't used it all up. So I'll, that'll be, again, like the the scarf. It'll go for whatever month that I use the rest of the yarn in, which will probably be February because I want to make the rest of those um, popsicle cozies. Cozies? Because <laughs> um, we only have two left. I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> They've just been lost. They're probably up underneath the furniture. And then the divine hats, yeah. So most of the yarn that I used in January was scrap balls, but I did... I do have eight ball bands, so I'm gonna put these in a bag because I want to. At the end of the year, I want to see how many ball bands I have all together and get like a picture of them all laid out um, all together. So I do need to take that ladybug off because I have a spreadsheet on my computer because <laughs> I'm a nerd <laughs> of um, my finished objects, so I can tally it at the end of the year. And I have the ladybug as of January, but it, I finished it in December, so I need to take that off there. But 99 is pretty good so far for February. I only have one finished item, um, and that is my. Groundhog amigurumi that I made. I am working on another amigurumi right now. I'm gonna start a cardigan later today and um, I want to pull out another stitcher library pattern. So I have to find which pattern I want to make. So those ones are coming up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. I feel good that I used up eight bowls for my stash. There's holes. I can start. I can see holes. <laughs> and um, I used a ton of scrap balls, which is awesome. My scrap ball bucket closes a lot easier now. It's still pretty full. <laughs> I feel like I just barely made a dent in it, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'll have to figure out something else to do with all those other scraps, <laughs> and, uh, I got my multicolor bag out. I want to start pulling, uh, balls of it out to make amigurumis with, um, maybe to put on the Etsy shop, or maybe, you know, I just like making amigurumis so I can just give them to people or whatever, but, um, yeah, so that is my January roundup. All the links will be down below if you're interested in checking out anything, um, most of them are free patterns. There's just a couple that's paid for. And then I'll link the book below, the Whimsical Stitches book, uh, that this sunflower was in. But yeah, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I think I did good, especially since I was nine months pregnant <laughs> in January. And then I had a baby. And after I had the baby, I did have two more finished objects, so that's pretty good. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess that's it for uh, the roundup stuff, you know. So, little life update. Always throw something in at the end. Uh, June's doing good. She's in there. I hear her whining every now and then. She's probably hungry. We uh, we, we went to my in-laws for breakfast this morning, and then we had to run to Walmart to get a few grocery things. And uh, so she slept a lot, so she's probably waking up and hungry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know. I talked about already what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to start a cardigan, and I need to start another stitch library. And I got another amigurumi. It's actually for a national holiday video that I want to do tomorrow, but it depends on if I get it done. <laughs> um, it's about halfway done, so I'm trying to work on it. But, uh... And for the Etsy shop, I'm still recovering from having a baby. <laughs> so, uh, it's on vacation mode right now, but I'm thinking maybe in a couple weeks I could probably, I'll fall, probably feel like someone again. I already, like, want to. And, uh, but I don't want to sit in the chair for too long because, <laughs> uh, it hurts my body. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to give myself a couple more weeks to recover. So, maybe the next, I'll probably have an Etsy shop update. Maybe, um, the end of the month sometime. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Today's the 6th. So, maybe the second to last week of the month or the last week of the month we'll see <laughs> but uh because i miss making bags i like making them and selling them you know and i like uh when people buy them and then send me pictures of them using them i like that i think it's so cool but yes i'm gonna hop off here and get this edited because it's a pretty long video and i gotta add all those pictures and hopefully i did it right <laughs> sometimes i forget to add pictures but uh yeah so i'm gonna hop off here and i'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow for a um national holiday <laughs> i forgot what it's called uh, Tuesdays is usually when I want, like to do my No Kitchen Name episodes, but I don't have much to share. <laughs> so, uh, and then Wednesday is what you're working on Wednesday. And, uh, so I'll see you over the next few days, hopefully, if I get chances to film. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.